Okay, I've got this R29 out here and I've got the scope and rail off of it so I can press it if I need to press it. This video is about cam lean. Now, I have talked about you can put the bow under a little pressure to press, compare these pairs tension wise. I still recommend that, but here's something else you can do if you don't think you're doing it right now. This is the right side of the R29. Maybe this will come out in the camera. Now I've got that 001 Raven bolt laying on the bottom of that cam. See that See that gap maybe in that camera? It's flush all the way out to the limb. Okay. Now that's the bottom of this cam on the right side. When I come over here to the left side, it's the top of the cam. Again, see that gap? Okay. And I've compared cable tension by pressing the bow. This method right here using this bolt might get you a half a turn closer on a cable. Meaning you might shake these cables for tension with a little pressure on the bolt. You might be a half a turn off on the cable just based on my experimentation. Okay. Since I got the camera running, I'm going to go ahead and slip this in the bolt. Some people may not even be familiar with the cam lean. The easiest way to get it. Okay, just a little bit of pressure on that press. Not much, okay? And if you got a loose cable, it'll show up, okay? But again, this is being touchy-feely with the bow. Doing it this way here is probably more technical, okay? So, thought I would share that. Now, cam lean on one of these bows, I guess, is like a vertical bow. You shoot mechanical broadheads. This bow shoot pretty good with field, you know, with a mechanical head and field points. Even with the, with some cam lean, you start going to a full broadhead, and you could have some trouble. And then maybe even a mechanical at distance. But even having the cam lean set right should make the bow shoot more, more consistent. Okay, even with a field point, especially at distance. I hope you enjoyed.